Hello, Pipe Dev, wherever you are. I hope you're somewhere safe, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and don't so much me. Real quick, can you give me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share, please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you'd like to donate, you do not have to. It is not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. My PayPal, Cash App, and um, P.O. Box is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart, ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful, gorgeous souls tenfold. And for the super thanks and memberships and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful, gorgeous souls tenfold. <gasps> Guys, look, look, look. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it in like two minutes, not even. <laughs> I was so upset. But then, right as I was sitting down and hitting, getting ready to hit record, um, oh, so for those of you who didn't see my last video, my last reading, I, and during my reading, and I was using Intuitive Kev's um, cards too, which is so crazy. My my bracelet broke, right? The, the one that um, I Kev, you know, Intuitive Kev made for me. And I was so upset because it's my favorite bracelet. So it wasn't, it's not his fault. It was, um, when a bracelet, when you have a crystal bracelet or if a necklace breaks, it's the negative energy. And it was crazy because if y'all didn't see that reading, um, it was actually, I literally just told you to cleanse the energy, right? To sage. And I did. I literally just saged. And as right after that is it literally broke on camera. I was so upset, but then I was like, all right, well, I know what I can do. I just used copper, and I left a little bit of room so y'all can see. I took apart an old charger, right, and I used the wiring from the charger because copper actually um, activates the crystals even more. And this is his intuitive um, protection uh, bracelet, which and it's my favorite. I love this bracelet. So I just took off the little the copper pieces, the clamps that were on the bottom there, and I kept it off because I want to show you is what I did. I used the wires. I like twisted them together, and very easily just put the I put it back like the ones that were still on the string the way he made it. I did it that way, and the last ones that like fell off that I wasn't sure I just continued the pattern that he had but I used the copper so now and like I can feel the vibration even more because of the copper right so um the download I got from that was um somebody's trying to break down your protection because this is the intuitive um protection right bracelet and it's a very powerful bracelet and again it let me just make it abundantly clear it is not intuitive Kev's um it's not he he puts he it's not his fault it's like he the um the craftsmanship behind this and everything is insanely good like it's amazing it's not his fault it's from the energy it's the negative it's letting you know like there's too much negative energy and the timing of it and everything is perfect i know exactly what it was and what it meant and again let me make it abundantly clear it's not his fault um and but now the way i'm looking at it is they're trying to break down your intuitive protection but like how i upgraded it to copper to activate it even more with them trying to do this all it did was upgrade copper fucking nation yeah don't tell me i don't know what i'm talking about all right so all it did was upgrade it because now it's copper that's you know think about it it's copper and it's um activating these crystals and your intuitive protection even more so somebody's getting some extra protection all right guys so i might even like i was even contemplating about breaking all my bracelets and doing this because like if you can feel this bracelet already like is very powerful um like i absolutely love this bracelet but yeah i left it so you can see like i just intertwined it with the copper and you know what i mean and put it together i still use the same like clasp and everything but yeah, I'm so excited. Because <laughs> uh, it's my favorite bracelet. <laughs> I love this bracelet. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I just, I just want to reach my dinner. <laughs> Not to chew my own horn or anything, but I'm pretty fucking badass, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> Somebody's not getting passionate new beginnings. You are, but they're not. <laughs> All right, somebody could have been trying to break down your intuitive protection, uh, right? So that they can come back in with some sort of new beginning, and you're like, hey, no, 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 no. Your intuition just got stronger, bro. <laughs> yeah, they're in their head. Look, they're. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, the only reason why I did another, oh, I don't like when this happens, dude. My cross, when it goes upside down like that, I don't like that. I push it down with the other ones. Because this broke too, remember? And that broke. <laughs> remember when this bracelet broke? <laughs> and I put it back together. But, um, anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't like when that happens. Uh, somebody, maybe somebody that's like, okay, with the cross upside down. I put it down with my other bracelets, like, I don't like when that happens. Um, maybe somebody that's, like, a uh, very low vibration that, like, worships the devil or some weird shit. We don't know. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and return that back to the sender. Okay? But, um, yeah, they're trying to break down your your intuition and your intuitive protection. But it all it did, within doing that, all it did was make it stronger, more powerful, and make you stronger, more powerful, make your intuition more strong, more stronger, and more powerful. Okay? Um... Now they're stuck up in their heads, they're boohoo crying all night because they know there will be no passionate new beginnings with them, or they've got a message of enlightenment that there will be no new beginnings. Um, yeah, that sucks for somebody, but not for you, collective, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking to do another reading. I just, <laughs> I was just gonna make the last one the last one for today, but I was like, let me just show everybody because I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited. I love this bracelet, it's my favorite bracelet. And his cards are my favorite cards too. I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm so excited. Kip, I want your, your I want the first deck of your he has a second deck, guys. That's coming out um I think soon. Either June or July, right? So within the next month, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. And Kev, I want your first deck. I want the first one. I'll pay for it right now. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, yeah, this witch bitch. Mmm. No passion in beginnings for her. Oh. This little wench that likes to sleep around, you know. Um, yeah, she's a little lusty, you know, spread the legs. Like to just lay on her back and spread the legs for anything, you know. She ain't getting no passion in the beginning. She's upset about this. Some witch beach. Mm, that sucks for somebody, huh? <laughs> Not for whoever she was trying to have a new passion in the beginning with, huh? <laughs> Y'all dodged a bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're moving forward, okay? Out of rough waters, coming into smooth sailing. You could possibly be um, moving across a body of water. She might be trying to run because she knows what the hell she tried to do to you. She's running out of time. She knows it before you find out what's really good. You know, you know, you know. All right. Should just do one more. Oh, wow, yeah, you're going to get some sort of quick communication, sweetheart. A rapid progression. Yeah. And if you're wanting to move, you're moving. Or you're coming out of rough waters in the smooth sailing. I know, that's right. Right. Yeah, you're moving, Bill. Where are we going? I'm ready. Let's go. I've been ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I see it. Because whatever you're investing in, whatever seed you're planting, they're flourishing beautifully. And you're gonna, you're moving out of rough waters and smooth sailing. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Can you see how excited I am? <laughs> so, I was so upset about this fucking bracelet. Like, you have no idea. This is my favorite bracelet. And it's just like, it just made me, and also while I was putting the bracelets on to, like, so now I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, it's like mine and Kev's, like, in, like, you know, um, creation. <laughs> and I was just like praying on each bead, each bead that I was putting on, you know, setting the attention for each bead and stuff. <laughs> I'm corny, right? <laughs> I get excited over the littlest things. <laughs> Imagine like big things, like, <laughs> but it's the little things I count, you know? The big things too, but like I take, you know, I'm so appreciative of like literally every little thing. Because <laughs> you should, you know? Yeah, oh, Five of Pentacles. It landed like this. And the reason why I have my, my, my robe like this is because my dress that I have is like, it's shorter. It's not like Coochie Mama short, but it's like shorter. And when I sit down cross like that, you know what I mean? I don't want my panties showing. <laughs> Because it looks weird. Okay, I don't even know why I hear that, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like somebody wants you because they landed like this, as y'all see. So it's like, mm, I feel like somebody wants you to be in this Five of Pentacles energy, but you're coming up out of this Five of Pentacles energy. I feel like with these two children, these little cutie poop, these little cutie pies right here, these little um, cutie patooties, um, 
right here. Maybe since a child you were like in this Five of Pentacles energy, possibly you could have grew up in lower class or like poverty or, you know, middle class or whatever the situation is. You're breaking this generational curse, all right? Um, this poverty like curse and you're coming up out of this five of pentacles and I feel like this is leaving somebody else in the five of pentacles They could be feeling left out in the cold All right You might have known this person since a child. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be an ex. It could be um, You know, it could be anybody Confirmation. <laughs> yeah, four wands because you have the solid found <laughs> Solid foundation, you're coming up out of Five of Pentacles. Somebody might be getting kicked out of a house. Five of Pentacles and a house. Maybe this is your house that it belongs to you. Okay, and someone needs to get the F out. You might be moving into your house that you already had because maybe someone left you a house and somebody's little scum bucket ass decided to take it from you. Now they gotta get out. They're getting that message of enlightenment. That's gonna be like the, the sheriffs, you know, or the constables coming up, you know, knocking on that door like, excuse me, uh, ma'am, sir, y'all need to get the fuck on set them because this is not your house. Oh, wait, no, actually, you're not going nowhere. You're going to come with me. Put your hands behind your backs, you know, and start reading the, the my Miranda rights. Somebody's getting kicked out of the house. And you're getting a solid foundation and you're coming up out of the Five of Pentacles, okay? And, yeah. I'm sure only getting someone's living in your house. Someone lost a job. Somebody could have lost a job and now they're getting kicked out because they were trying to attack your finances. They're trying to attack your work. They're maybe they were trying to get you kicked out of a house, and that's what's happening to them. Man, these little kids are so cute. <laughs> This could be a brother for some of you. The heck? Or a sibling. Somebody's children are not happy. Somebody's like doing something to their... There's something happening to this little boy. Somebody might be neglecting their children or something. Oh, Somebody might be getting kicked out because they were neglecting their child or... Look at this. Oh my goodness, this card's really making me sad. I was just like looking at it, it was like, like, looks so cute. And then I'm like, wait a second, their, their faces are filthy. Look at the little boy's... Um, expression on his face and there's like boo-boos on his hands or their hand her hands this is sad like i want to cry looking at this picture like look at the expression on his face it's like he's holding like there could be like child abuse or, ne or child neglectation like you know um Look at the, like the burn marks on her, her little hands. See the little burn marks on her like hands. What the fuck? Oh, that's sad. She looks like she has a black eye. Look! Oh my god. Somebody's abusing their children. Maybe a fight broke out and like my phone just lit up when I said that. They might not even be bathing these children. What the fuck? Like this is definitely a forced smile on this little boy. Dirt all over their faces and I don't think it's from outside playing. Obviously it's supposed to be like, like a um poverty set like picture but spirits really having me take a deep look at this for a reason the little girl has a black eye and burns on her finger
and he's forcing, like he kind of even looks like he has a fat lip, oh my goodness. He kind of looks, where's it at? Right here. He kind of looks like he has a bust up lip and look at his face, it's like, in his eyes. There's like child neglect or, and, or child like abuse or something. Two of Cups. This could be your divine counterpart. You're coming into union. Maybe they found out that like whoever they were with was abusing their child or children and neglecting their children. This could be a baby mom or a baby dad. Or, or somebody that they were in a union with and they could have found out like what they were doing to their children or this could be you maybe you're finding out what, what's been going on with your children and your child and maybe that's like making you move on but you're coming into union okay someone's like getting kicked out of a house and you're 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 gonna you're having you're coming out of this five of pentacles and having a solid foundation and um you're gonna be moving out from you're coming out of rough waters and smooth sailing um and possibly you know moving into a house that already belongs to you or you're getting a house this could be your this could be what your ex is going through this could be what your ex is going through possibly or this is what you know your divine counterparts going through like with their um with their ex or their baby mom or baby dad oh this just made me super sad archangel michael please bless and protect children everywhere somebody could have lost a cat this cat just fell down the hello kitty um labyrinth somebody could have a gray cat or a white cat it could have passed away it doesn't have to be that color Somebody could have sacrificed an animal. Wow, the energy on that is strong. Yeah, someone's not moving forward, okay? Someone's getting kicked out. Someone's stuck. They're not, they're, they, they're just because they're coming for you. They're not coming, they're staying in rough waters while you get to move it, you know, move forward. And I feel like it has something to do with children. Or it could be a parent doing this to you or someone you looked at as a parent. They could have been like um, abusing you since a child. Whether it was physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, neglecting you or whatever the situation is. They're trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. They want you in the Five of Pentacles, but you're coming out of that Five of Pentacles. And now whoever's wishing this upon you, that's going to happen to them. Because you're getting a solid, yeah. They're stuck and stagnant while you're getting a solid foundation. Someone's getting, I'm strong in getting, someone's getting kicked the F out possibly of a house that belongs to you. They might have children. Um, I mean, y'all do what you want, but I mean, these are little kids. Y'all, like, you have the right to do whatever you want, but I would take these kids in. Not the parents. These kids need love. I wouldn't let the parents in your house. So if you choose to do this, if this is, this might, I mean, this could even just be you, like, as a child, right? This could have been you as a child. This could have been you and your brother growing up or your sister or, or whatever the situation is. But if this is two children that might, that been being neglected, being abused... These, these children need love. They need real, like, divine love. Um, and if there's an opportunity to give these kids the love that they deserve, um, you just do what you want. But I would take that opportunity to give these kids the love that they deserve and the treatment that they deserve. But I wouldn't, if I were you, um, I wouldn't allow the appearance if it's like Unless this is your, your divine counterpart's kids, okay? Maybe if, like, they found out that their their past person or their, their baby mom or baby dad, whatever situation, was treating their children like this, okay? Um, 
well then obviously you're gonna want your divine counterpart in there but i'm saying like if this is like somebody that stole a house from you stole your inheritance right and if they they have small children and um they're getting kicked out and they don't know what to do because they're children like i would take the children in but you don't have to you can do whatever you want but you know what i mean but if i were you if you were to take these children in do not allow um the parents in your house okay don't allow that because i don't trust it um I would like you know I want to keep the kids unless like children you said they're not allowed to see the kids you know what I'm saying or like the state said they're not allowed to see them you know depending on how serious this is um you know I would I would just take them to see that you know I wouldn't don't let them in your house you know what I'm saying but you don't have you can do whatever you want to do but I'm saying this is what I would highly suggest um I would meet them down the street or something I wouldn't even let them on the property if I was you but the poor children shouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? But you do what you want to do. You, I mean, I'm not your mama, okay? Uh, but I feel like something like that's happening here. But again, this could be you too, because this could have been left to you as a child, possibly. Maybe to you and a brother, or just you, or I don't fucking know. You put the rules where you fit. But there's so many, they're getting kicked out, and they're stuck. They're, they can't have no forward movement. While you're getting a solid foundation... And possibly a house. And it's protected. She's wearing... She's, someone needs to speak up about this. Because she's wearing blue. That's your throat chakra, right? And it's also protection. There's a blue door. This house is protected. So if there's anything going on in this house... Um, while these idiots were living there... Not the children. You know, the, the other... You know, God bless them. The poor babies. Uh, I'm talking about the parents. Like, while the, whoever was in this house... If there's anything going on, don't worry. It, it was just your ancestors probably, you know, from the walls. It, it's a blue door. It's protected, okay? It's like Archangel Michael. Your, your, found, your foundation is protected, too, okay? Your solid foundation is protected. You're protected. Um, she's wearing a blue dress. That's like somebody needs to. It's very vibrant blue. That's your throat chakra. Someone's going to speak up about this, okay? You're going to find out about this. Possibly a female. Somebody could have blonde hair. This could be you or somebody involved. Somebody's doing, yeah, you're going to get some information. Someone's going to speak up about this underhanded shit that they did to get this foundation. It's not a foundation of this house. Because look at her hand. She's doing something underhandedly. Look at her hand. But she hasn't spoke up about it, but she's about to. See how, like, the hand, it's like she's doing, like, it's like that. She did some underhanded shit that she didn't speak up about, but she has to. Because there's about to be a knock, knock at the door. Like, you, you, you're going to come with me, young lady. Um, or whomever this is, it can be a masculine, it can be anybody. It could be Empress in the reverse, yep. This, yeah, very uncreative, you know. The Empress in the upright is all the queens embodied in one, you know what I mean? This is the Empress in, in the reverse, so that's all the queens embodied in one in the reverse. Very lusty, um, very hateful, narcissistic, pathological liar. Um, does anything underhanded, you know, sleeps around. There's a bunch of nastiness, okay? Not creative at all. She steals other people's creativity and ideas. She could be doing root work on you because of the red polka dots. That's making me think of the, the root chakra, right? And she's not grounded at all. She's in the reverse. She's completely all over the place. Um, I feel like she's neglecting her children possibly. Or possibly abusing her children. Or letting her children be abused. Or using her children as a weapon or a tool or something. But she might be trying to affect your root chakra to try to, you know, um, make it so that you can't attract or trying to attach yourself to your root chakra to steal, you know, from you. But she's about to take a big fall from grace. See, like, she's upside down with her hands out. Like, she's about to take a huge fall um, from all this underhanded stuff that she did to you. Because, yeah, that hand is sticking out to me. That underhanded hand right there is sticking out to me heavily right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if it's zooming in or not. And now she sucks. She because she sucks like Chuck. You know what I mean? Someone's gonna give you Chuck, Charlie, Charles. But how ruthless she was being. Okay, she's being extremely ruthless in what she has done to you. And she's stuck because she's attacking you and what you got going on. Not only did she steal from you, but she's been attacking you. And 
she refuses to heal look at this water right that's like water's healing right so it's in the reverse she's refusing to heal she's refusing to um to change her ways she's being forced to now look at her hands behind her that's like that's like the authorities coming in put your hands behind your head not even behind the back that's like that's that's not just locals locals say put your hands behind your back behind your head that's like cia atf fbi you know um whatever u.s uh u.s marshals um whomever homeland security that's the ones that lock your fingers behind your back you know what i mean behind your head you know normal local police will say put your hands behind your back this is um authorities yeah this is like somebody that is she's gonna be doing a lot of time for four swords yeah because you healed just speaking about healing look i was just talking about healing you could be a healer i was just saying that she didn't heal you healed and this is why it's going on god heard your prayers and they're being answered somebody could be gifting you your flowers you know they say the gifting your flowers like giving your your credit for like how you healed it could have been look that's a cemetery somebody could have passed away and left you this finances this house or whatever and this underhanded lady this or more masculine whoever it is by picking up on a female um decides she wanted to go do some underhanded stuff and and try and steal this from you All right, and like whomever this is, what I'm picking up on right now, you're. Oh, I don't know if I should say this. Should I say it? I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna say, your past on loved one, or loved ones, um, that left this to you. They're not resting until this happens. They're making sure, meaning, they're making sure that this gets back to you and your past and loved ones are extremely disappointed in these people and what they've done to you they completely abandoned them they have no spiritual protection they have no their ancestors your, your ancestors their ancestors completely abandoned them they want nothing to do with them and your ancestors have been messing with them severely they've been saving up their energy um just to be able to mess with them you know because it takes a lot of energy for you know for a past and loved one to be able to move something oh they've been saving that energy up to make sure they can go knock something off the wall and stuff like that they might think it's a poltergeist it's your ancestors they're pissed they're highly upset with these people and they're not stopping they're not resting until you get back what is yours. After everything you've been through, this was on, you know, your loved ones, um, it was their dying wish that it came to you. And for them to think that it was cute and funny to steal from you and leave you out in poverty, when they would have never had it, it wasn't even theirs to take. But you're going to get the last laugh. I promise you that. And I promise you this, your ancestors will be resting in peace and extremely proud and happy of you. They already are. And how much you fucking healed is insane. Continue praying because God's listening to your prayers and they're being answered. Queen of Pentacles, you're going to have a reason to celebrate because you're coming out of this Five of Pentacles and going right into this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, and whatever you're doing with your creativity, your fertility, because you see this orange, this orange flag in the background, it's like this orange tapestry, it's making me think like, you know, and when you get this, also you see the yellow in it too. It, whatever you're doing with your creativity, your fertility, that's like this, your sacral chakra, right? It's orange, and that's your creativity, your fertility. Um, that's also putting you into the Queen of Pentacles energy, too. So keep showing up. That's why they're attacking whatever you got going on. And you see that yellow that's there, too? That's your, like, solar plexus. That's your inner child, right? You're going to feel like a child when you get this. You're going to feel like you're going to be so childlike, all right? And it's also giving me how innocent you were. 
confirmation. Someone's name could be Rose or Jamie. Somebody could be Jamaican or African. Or somebody could be going doing some weird shit, doing God knows what. Um, when you're sleeping, wear something that covers your head, okay? <laughs> wear something to cover your head, your crown chakra and your third eye. I'm getting it very strong. They're trying to attack your, uh, and it's something that may be trying to get into your dream state. Wear like a head wrap or, you know, your robe with your hood up. Um, a beanie. Cleanse it with sage or Palo Santo stick or selenite. Or, you know, put crystals in it. You're getting, you're about to get some sort of downloads in your sleep, okay? And if you're not, if you're not remembering your sleep, first of all, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. So you make sure you're hydrated, right? And Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they're losing every fucking thing. They're doing witchcraft on you. Oh, they could have went to the motherlands, right? To do witchcraft on you or something. Or they could have had somebody doing witchcraft on you for the, to attack your finances. This is a huge loss for somebody. This has financial curse financial ruin because it was never theirs to touch in the first place okay now going back to what i was just saying um if you're not remembering your dreams all right um uh, because i feel like they're attacking your dream state they don't want you to get your downloads right so first of all make sure you're not eating anything heavy before sleep okay um if you can try not to eat before sleep all right make sure you're completely hydrated drinking a lot of water all right that does affect your dream state um, and depending on what you eat, especially heavy foods, you're, you're going to fall more into a deep sleep and you're not going to really, you, you're having less chances of, um, remembering your dreams. Alright, so try to eat, like, try not to eat, like, I don't know, a few hours before bed. Um, if you cannot eat after dinner, that would be, like, dinner time area, like, you know, around after, like, 5, 6 o'clock, that'd be ideal, depending on what time you go to sleep. But, you know, if you still have to have a snack, whatever, but, um don't eat anything heavy all right that affects your sleep um your dreams and you make sure you're completely hydrated and um also cover your 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 head okay when you're sleeping with a wrap um uh a robe okay you can do like a robe too but i feel like you should do like you should wrap it okay with um either a wrap or like a a beanie or something like that where it covers your third eye and the, your crown chakra um for extra protection you can get sage or palo santo stick okay and um cleanse it okay also cleanse it and with the intention to use the beanie or the bandana or whatever you're doing the head whatever it is um to protect you and your your dream state and your crown and your third eye and you can put selenite which is for cleansing your, your aura and your energy okay and um you can put like other crystals in there and you know selenite also charges other crystals too so it actually be really perfect if you like so um or just throw it in there okay you can put like a in the, in the top of your beanie where it'll be on your crown chakra in the top of your head you need just throw it like you can break selenite up but just make